For the past two weeks, people around the world have observed with grief and horror the escalating violence and suffering in Gaza and southern Israel and have looked to the United Nations to put an end to the fighting. In 2005, when Israel left Gaza, we hoped we would never have to return. But eight years of continuous rocket attacks by the Hamas terrorist organization, Hamas refusal to extend the period of calm and its smuggling of weapons during this period left Israel with no choice but to act in self-defense. Oui, baby. Mais oui, on m'a donné le résultat avant ça. Je n'ai pas à vous le communiquer, bien entendu. Merci beaucoup. El Consejo de Seguridad no hace más que alargar la situación. No toma ninguna medida. Se reúne deciden, hablan, ven, se convoca para el día siguiente. Al día siguiente se mira, se ve, se toma, van pasando los días y cada día hablamos de decenas y de cientos de muertos. Y yo me acuerdo que, me, que una noche recibo una llamada telefónica del padre Miguel y, y me dice, eh, Enrique, esto es una barbaridad, no entiendo por qué el Consejo de Seguridad no está actuando. Si el Consejo de Seguridad no actúa, tenemos que hacer algo. You really can't understand the United Nations without understanding Israel and Palestine. They are at the heart of the birth of the United Nations. And the United Nations had a commitment to the creation of a state of Israel and to the creation of a Palestinian state. One of the biggest drawbacks you have is that the United States has certainly shown itself systematically. No country has made more use of the veto than the United States in the history of the United Nations. And certainly the issue that they most frequently use it on is always with the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Do you want some questions? Any statement, Mr. President, please? Yes. Hello. How are you? Any reaction from you, sir? To the, uh, to the uh, Israeli operation uh, in Gaza, the beginning of the I ground attack? I think it's attack. a monstrosity. There is no other way to, to name it. And what is worse is that once again, the world is watching in dismay the dysfunctionality of the Security Council. And because there are some members of the Security Council that are trying to protect their own political interest. This is a real shame, but people are dying. No tenía precedentes el que el presidente de la Asamblea General, mientras el Consejo de Seguridad estaba deliberando, eh, tomara cartas en el asunto y empezara ya a hacer declaraciones públicas. Y se fue a la, a, la, a la Carta de Naciones Unidas, donde se le dice textualmente en la Carta de Naciones Unidas que el Consejo de Seguridad, su función es actuar en este tipo de crisis de forma rápida y eficiente. Y el padre dice, obviamente, no está actuando el Consejo de Seguridad de forma ni rápida ni eficiente, con lo cual habría que convocar a la Asamblea.